Hello, I'm James Parkin, and welcome to Living Life, the MD style. And today, I'm going to be doing some baking, some uh, chocolate chip cookies. And, well, I've got the ingredients to the side of me. They're all prepped, and the oven's already preheating. And I've got this fancy little apron, enough to, enough to scare one away. A picture of like me and Thomas, and I was about 15, Thomas was about 12. There were a bunch of terrors, but I like quite like wearing this when I do baking, and it's all pretty much ready really to, to start baking. So, over the dull uh, turn out okay, so I'm gonna get started. We got the recipe from the BBC Good Food website. So I'll provide the link to the recipe on the description of the video. So rather than explain every single ingredients, I've just put the ingredients list on the screen so you can read it there. Because it's a lot easier than me explaining everything. So I've already preheated the oven, so I put the Softened butter and the muscovado into a, a bowl. So, probably using the forks the best thing, and you just bring it both together, like mix them both together, the sugar and butter, until it got eventually will become like a pasty type texture. You then add the vanilla extract. To the mixture and then you crack an egg into the mixture as well you then add the granulated sugar to the mixture and you will, you will whisk it up as quick as possible but this may take some time but until you, the mixture is nice and smooth and creamy and then you slowly add the flour to the mixtures, the normal plain flour, and also a little bit of baking soda or bicarbonate. And then you get a lot of mixture, and then it start mix it together. And then you add the chocolate chips to the mixture and mix it together, and it's just the mixture and then put it onto the baking trays and then you put it into the oven now I went through that bit really quickly but it's quite straightforward if you follow the recipe that I give the link to then it, it should be plain and simple really and then you just watch it rise and the smell will come and it does smell really nice as well. And then you open the oven and there they are. And probably leave them to cool off for a bit. But they do look really nice. I was really looking forward to having a try of one. Now the cookies are all they're baked and they're all ready to be eaten and I baked them to bring to the Andy's Man Club session this Monday no it's, 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 it's a great thing and yeah it's really helped me since I started going a few months ago so it's just something I wanted to uh, bake for all the members of the, the group that I go to so hopefully they like it. But I'm going to test them now because that's one of the best things about baking. You get to test them. So hopefully this will be really nice. So I'm going to try it now. Mmm. Mmm.
That is very, very nice. Really great cookie. But thanks to me and especially my mum for helping. Help me. I'll just sit here direct with my silly apron. Which is quite a good apron. But thank you for watching this video and thank you for watching all my recent videos. It's been really good. Now I'm going to sit back and talk into a few cookies. So, so on that note, I'll see you on the next one.